hi everyone welcome back to another diy tutorial in today's video we are going to be recreating this simple v-neck shape jacket with a fringe okay as you can see this jacket is well lining it has a shoulder part just take a look at the inside it's very neat and details okay so a client gave me the this fabric is called ashoke it, she asked me to create something i wasn't sure what to do so i went on pinterest and i found that picture you saw before now and yes so we are going to be recreating this i'm going to show you a step by step how i draft my pattern and uh, how we cut and how we stitched it together okay so this is the pattern that i have made already so i will show you how i came about with this pattern okay so if you're new to my channel you are welcome and if you're my returning subscriber you are also welcome my name is chile rag and uh, if you have been on my channel and you're yet to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for subscribe hit the subscribing button don't forget to turn on your notification bell give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it and help me share the video okay so let's get started the the first thing I have here is my carbon paper. I've already drawn out my vertical measurement, so there is nothing serious. It's just a simple basic body block that I did here, okay? So the first thing I did was to create my starting point, which was my shoulder line. And then from the shoulder line, I mark out my bust line. This pattern doesn't have a chest line, so it's not necessary. And then I mark the length of the jacket, which is 17 inches. Uh, at the same time, the shoulder to the waistline so the shoulder measurement is 7.5 i added 0 0.5 inches because of the shoulder part i'm going to include okay and then the neck width is a 2.75 the neck depth is by 3 inches i hope you get this so i kept allowance of 2 inches for the for the flap okay so 2 inches for the flap and uh, i'm not going to use it all but i just kept a uh, excess allowance whatever thing i decide to do okay but just watch so after done with this so the next thing i did was to find out the midpoint first of all i came down by one inch okay at this point here i came down by one inch for shoulder slope all right so the remaining line from here which is the armhole line so i found the midpoint and afterward i marked 0 0.5 inch inward so that i can create the curve from uh, the armhole curve okay but before i will create the armhole curve so the first thing we need to do at this point now i'm going to start marking the the bus the quarter of the bus circumference okay what i mean by quarter of the bus circumference you divide your rambo circumference by four and whatever thing it gives you you mark it here my clients uh Bus circumference is 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches so i'm going to mark the 9 inches and then i add additional 2 inches for uh ease allowance because it's a jacket okay so i have a total of 11 inches here i'm going to mark that 11 inches at the waistline okay so that is how free i want this jacket to be all right so i will connect it to me to the bus line I'm going to connect it using a straight line okay so the next thing i will do is to connect the arm hook curve okay so the arm hook curve i was supposed to do earlier but because of i was not uh, yet to impute the uh, bus circumference or the quarter of the bus circumference so yes now that i did that now i just connect the arm hook curve as you can see so now that I'm done from this part now, move on to the center front, okay? So the flap that I was talking about, so I'm going to be marking one inch out. Before we do that, um, to connect the V-line, I'm going to mark uh, two inches below from the bust line, two inches below. Then I'm going to connect this, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to connect this line out to extend that line out, okay? So that it can be easy for me to work with. So now that I'm done from this part now, I'm going to mark one inch. That is the flap, okay? I'm going to mark one inch and then move on to the waistline. I'm also going to mark one inch right there. And uh, I'm extending this line also out so that I can be able to connect the, the straight line to meet to the part where I mark that one inch now. 
So now that I'm done from this part now, I'm going to connect, create my V shape now. Okay, I will place my tape from that part now, from the neck width, from the shoulder line, and then connect it to me to the, this part here, okay? Please, if you don't understand what I just say here, just watch the video, okay? So now that I'm done from this part, the next thing I'm going to do is to add the joining allowance from the lower part so that I can turn, use it to turn my lining. So I add so much allowance, okay? I later reduce it, okay? But I didn't reduce it on camera, but I reduced it off, uh, off camera. Yeah, I reduced the allowance, most especially from the side because it was too big. That means I had a total of 2.5 inches allowance. That was so much, okay? So my front pattern is ready. Now let's strap the back. So here is the back pattern. The same thing I did to the front, okay? The same thing I did here to the back. The only difference for the back is that the neck depth is one inch and um yeah the shoulder the the arm hook off also is different so i will show you in a minute okay so i'm going to be marking the bust second frame the quarter of the bust second frame plus the two inches allowance that i added okay so afterward i'm going to connect it to me to the midpoint that i marked so the same thing i did to the front and that is the same thing here i'm doing here to the back so there's nothing serious at the back okay and then i will repeat the 11 inches that i marked for the bust line there and also at the waistline like this okay and then i added the 0 0.5 inch that i add to the front pattern the same thing i did here which is the 2.5 inches allowance that i added in total and then i'm adding the 0 0.5 inch at the lower part at the shoulder joining 0 0.5 at the neckline also 0 0.5 okay so also i use my free hand to connect the 0 0.5 from the armhole line okay that is what I just did here, and I'm just levering it back pattern. So this part is going to be cut on fold, okay? So now that I'm done now, we are going to start now by cutting out this pattern. Yeah, we're cutting out the part that I don't need. And this is the front. I'm adding the 0 0.5 inch to join my sleeve to the bodice, okay? So uh, the back, I'm going to later cut it times two because the material was not like a regular fabric that you know that you can just fold it and cut so there was something that i have to do i have to split the bag into two and then rejoin it back again okay so uh, now that the pattern is ready so here is my front and the back pattern is ready and also this allowance that i added for joining at the lower part i will later trim that off Okay, let's begin. So here are the tools that I'm going to use. This is my fabric scissors, And this is the shoulder part that I'm going to use. I got it from the market. And this is the lining. I could not find a suit lining, so I would have loved to use suit lining, but I did not see this color. This is the fringe that I'm, I'm going to use, and it's one, one and a half yard, okay? So this is the fabric. It's called Ashoki. If you are familiar with this fabric, you should know that this fabric was actually meant to use to tie head, okay? But my client wants me to create something out of it. So that is why I was able to come up with this uh, simple jacket that you saw. So and, um, the material is not like a regular fabric that is wide that you can just easily cut it. So this has to come with a lot of calculation. I have the length of this uh, Ashoke is um, 18 inches, okay? And the width is two yard. So that is the width, is two yard. So right now, I'm going to assemble it now so that I can start cutting. Just like I said, the material was not just any half fabric. So I have to split this into two so that I can cut at the back. Because if I was to fold it to cut the back, I won't be able to get it. And also, when you are working with Ashoki, please pay attention with the pattern, okay? The pattern, number one, you need to pay attention with the pattern. It has pattern. So, and my client wants me to, or uh, the, the strap line, you want it to be on the vertical line, not horizontally. So, that is why I was just careful with this so that I will not just mess up with the, the cutting, okay? 
so what i'm going to do now i'm going to trim off this excess from the from the pattern because the fabric is not long enough to contain the allowance that i added so which is still okay all right so i'm going to place this part here okay you, you need to place it in a way that it should be you have 0 0.5 inch allowance to join the back back together please don't forget it. if you have the same fabric make sure you place it exactly like the way i just did keep allowance of 0 0.5 inch from the center back so that you can join it back together okay so i've already added allowance while i was cutting my pattern so i don't need to add any joining allowance again okay so that is what i'm doing here so this is how i cut the back pattern okay so now the back is ready i'm going to go back to my sewing machine to join it back together to become one piece okay so this is the front pattern which i've already gone ahead to cut out also so the front is two piece as usual so and um uh the remaining pieces from where i cut out the those uh take out the the back and the front pattern i'm going to use these pieces that you see me now during to create the sleeve it was actually a very big task and complicated situation that I was in so while i was cutting out the the sleeve i did not cut it on camera so because i was just figuring out what i supposed to do what i supposed to do like the fabric was not enough and there was not any other extra fabric for me to use to create the sleeve so i just have to manage the fabric at this point i just got to realize that i'm very good in managing <laughs> fabric okay so yeah so the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to go off camera and cut out the sleeves and then i will be back so guys i have done cutting out my pieces okay and also i cut out my sleeve of camera all right so while i was cutting the sleeve i was trying to be be accurate make sure that everything is accurate so i got a little bit confused on what i supposed to do for the sleeves because the material was not enough i have to manage to be able to get everything uh, the, the pattern to be exact as the design like to follow up with the pattern so i have to come up with this um solution okay so right now i have two pieces here that i'm going to be joining together to have one sleeve and the same thing also here so also followed by the back neck uh, the back uh, pattern as you can see the back pattern is two pieces it was not supposed to be two pieces it was supposed to be one pieces so i have here two pieces so i will be joining here 0 0.5 to close down the back pattern okay so that is what i'm going to do and um yeah basically that is what i did so far so for the sleeve the length of the sleeve i use is 8.5 inches that is the length of the sleeve i use and uh, but, uh yeah that is what i do so in my next tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a sleeve tutorial okay so but on this one i just want to if you have any idea how you can cut its sleeves okay please uh, be patient with me i'm going to do a tutorial but if you have any idea kindly use the tutorial to make the sleeve add sleeve to your jacket okay but the main purpose is for me to show you how i cut and join the v-neck uh jacket with a fringe okay so now that i have done with this part here the next thing i'm going to use uh, my back pieces to cut out the lining for the back also the front pieces to cut out the lining for the front okay both the sleeves the sleeve also has lining i'm going to use the the sleeves to cut out the pieces or cut out lining for the sleeves okay i hope this explanation was clear so let's get into it let me get my lining and then let's start cutting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to start by cutting at my lining. This is my front pieces. I'm cutting at the front piece first and then I will cut at the back pieces as well off camera, okay? And uh, once I'm done, I'm going to be iron interfacing. 
So these are all my pieces, the lining and the main fabric all are ready. So the next thing I will do, I will iron interfacing on my lining to give it structure. And I've gone ahead to do that. So this is, uh, let me assemble uh, my pieces. I'm going to start from the back pieces, okay? So I need to pin, join the back pieces together to, to form a one piece, like it was supposed to be at, at first. So the next thing I will do, I'm going to pin. I'm going to pin and I will stop right here and then give some, leave some space so that I can turn my main piece together because I'm going to be doing an imbio stitching. I want this jacket to look as neat as possible, okay? So uh, the allowance that I left here is about five inches. So that is much, I'm going to reduce it a bit when I'm joining, it, okay? So I'm going to arrange my uh, sleeves also. This is the lining, okay? I'm arranging the sleeve. So just in case you are using the same Ashoke fabric, you are going to have all these pieces because Ashoke fabric doesn't come in a way that you will fold in and cut it one piece or unfold. It has to be on pieces like this. And um, yeah, but if it's Ankara, you don't need all these pieces. You just have to fold. Keep your pieces on fold and cut, and cut out your sleeve once and the back pieces once, okay? So now that I'm done pinning all this now, I will go to my sewing machine to join them with 0 0.5 inch allowance. So I have done joined them, so it's time to iron. I'm going to iron the seam allowance. This is what you need to do, okay? So I have done iron the seam allowance. So now I'm going to arrange this proper so that we can start the main thing by joining all the pieces together, okay? I'm going to start with the front lining. I'm going to start with the lining rather by placing the right side, facing the right side, then I will pin the shoulder. Okay, I'm going to start with the shoulder and then this is the main fabric, okay? I'm going to get my front pieces and then I will place it, the right side facing the right side, okay? And then pin the shoulder. I'm going to start with the shoulder first before we work our way to the side seam. So now that I'm done join, uh, pin this, my lining also is pinned, I will head back to the sewing table to join the shoulder and iron it, I will be back. So I have done join the shoulder together and also I have given it a very good press from the seam allowance, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to join the side seam, okay? To join the side together, join the main fabric separate and also the lining separate, okay? So after I finish pinning this, I'm also going to do the same thing to the lining. So now that I'm done pinning this, this is how it's going to look like. So here on the sewing table, I'm going to start now by joining with 0 0.75 inches. Remember, I said earlier that I added so much allowance. So I'm using 0 0.75 uh, to join my seam allowance. Let's say three quarter, yes, to join my seam allowance. So now that I'm done it, I'm repeating the same thing on the sleeve. I'm also stitching down the sleeve as well, okay? The size seam, I'm stitching the size seam. So now that I'm done stitching it, and I've also gone ahead to pin my sleeve to the bodies, okay? I'm going to make a tutorial, show you how I properly place my sleeves to my bodies, okay? And I uh, will join them with 0 0.5 inch allowance. So I have done join them, and also I have gone ahead to attach my uh, shoulder part to this uh, main fabric. I use a hand stitch, as you can see, I use a hand stitch. I work my way, started from the joining allowance, I work my way to the end and also to this side, and then I stop stitch it, okay? I secure it so that when you are putting it on the sewing machine, it's not going to move out, okay? So basically, that is the, nothing serious about the shoulder part. And then the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to arrange this. Um, I have already started pinning my French on it before I, I realized that I was supposed to show you guys, okay? So I'm going to pin the French 
uh, first to the main fabric okay before i will join the, um, the lining so i'm going to start now by pinning this so i will pin it and then i'm going when i get close to the center front i'm going to leave some allowances of 0 0.5 inch you are not going to pin all the way so you're going to leave 0 0.5 inch allowance on the center front okay then i will cut it i will cut the fringe from there because that 0 0.5 inch is to join the lining okay so so i'm going to go to my sewing machine now and i'll secure the fringe to my main piece okay so that it will be easy for me to join so i have gone ahead to secure it to the main fabric so now it's going to be easier for me when i when i place my lining to close the to stitch down the the side seam it's not going to distract me okay so yes yeah, so I, you have to stitch down the fringe to the main piece from the lower part okay secure it first before you place your lining okay so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to get my lining and then i'm going to uh, place the right side facing the right side okay and make sure your fringe is going to be inside okay your fringe is going to be inside so i'm going to start here from the uh the center back okay the center back and the center back of the main fabric and the center back of the lining so that everything is going to align proper all right so when you have this kind of joining it makes it easier for you to use those things as the guide, the guideline for you to be able to join your pieces together. So I'm just following up with the, the joining allowance. I started from the center back, so I'm working my way all the way to the lower part. So that is what exactly I'm doing. I'm going to continue pinning this, uh, all this part round. Okay. I'm going to pin all this part round and, um, yeah you should do this most especially when you have the fringe inside so now that i've done pin this round so the next thing i will do i will head to the sewing machine and join this round okay i'm going to join my lining and then i'm going to bring it out from here okay i'm stitching everything inside then i will turn it out from the part where i left open okay so right now i'm on the sewing machine now i'm i'm going to start now by joining my lining and my main pieces together okay with 0 0.5 inch allowance and i'm starting this joining from the center back okay from the center uh, yeah center back i'm going to walk my way to the other side to other end and then i'm also going to switch to other side again and also walk my way all the way to the to the end of the or to the length of my jacket So this is, I'm, I'm starting up again from the center back. I'm going to walk my way all the way to the end. So now that I'm done joining this, uh, my lining together. So the next thing I'm going to do, uh, I will head back to the sewing, ma uh, my weaving machine to overlock the rough edges. Okay. I noticed that the Ashoke fabric is, uh, is was pulling out. So I have to overlock it to protect the material in the future purpose so you should do that if you're using a shoke fabric make sure you overlock it first okay before you close down the whole thing all right so guys i'm going to draw your attention to this part here this is the sleeves if you have been finding it difficult to join your lining and your sleeves together like making an indio stitching this is the part this part is actually for you okay pay attention to this part so right now we are going to join the lining together first of all you need to pin it and by doing that you need to pin uh, it's going to be facing the shoulder like this okay and it has to come uh, the, uh, you have to make sure that the right side of the lining and the right side of the fabric is facing each other before you start pinning it okay so um since this uh sleeves has a shoulder joining this is a guideline for me it's easy for me now to work with and then the side as well okay so i'm going to come to the the side joining here uh i'm going to fold it okay from the side joining or from the side or i'm just going to fold it like this so that it can be easy for me to match the two of them together 
So once I'm done folding the uh, meshes together, and this is easy for me now to face it to each other. It has to come face to face, okay? So from the side joining to the side joining, the side joining of the lining and the side joining of the main fabric, I'm just going to place it right side facing each other and make sure the side joining is accurate to each other, okay? It's meshed together. So once I'm, I finally arrange it proper, then I make sure that everything is, is equal or they a match together. I don't know how to uh, put the English, but as you can see, you understand what I'm trying to do. Now I'm going to start now by pinning this down, okay? So I'm going to continue, arrange it like you see me doing, okay? And then I'm going to pin this all through. This is something that it was a bit difficult for me at first. But the moment I got to understand how it is, it was very easy for me. That is why I did the first one off camera. I did not, uh, I did not video the first one. I did the first one off camera so that I will be sure of what I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so I'm going to pin this. I will pin this one. So as uh, as you can see, I started my pinning from one side of the side joining okay now i'm going to turn to the other side which is from the the shoulder joining okay i'm going to start the uh, the pinning from here so that i can walk my way freely to the other part of the joining so i'm going to continue from the shoulder joining as well then walk my way back to the side seam okay so that at this point here it's going to be easy for me so once i'm done now i'm going to go and join this with 0 0.5 inch allowance so i have done join my uh, sleeve the lining and the main fabric together so this is how they are looking like now okay so it's easy for me now to turn it to the right side without having a complication so i'm going to turn it out from this part i'm going to turn my jacket to the right side from this part the allowances when i kept while i was stitching the lining okay so i'm going to turn it out from this part here to the right side so i have done turning my jacket to the right side so what I'm trying to do here, I'm arranging the, the shoulder part because the shoulder part was falling to the sleeve part. So yeah, I have to arrange it proper. Okay, so this is how it's looking like without ironing, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to head to my ironing table and iron this, give it a very good press. So this is something you need to do. Make sure you iron it. As you can see, it's not looking nice, but the moment I iron this, you will see that the cloth is going to look so beautiful and cute. Okay, so I cannot wear this cloth because it's not mine. I can't wear the jacket because it's not mine. It's a customer cloth. But I will definitely make a, the same jacket for myself. And I, I'm going to put it on for you to see how it's looking like, okay? But on this one, I'm waiting for my client to come. Hopefully, she will allow me to take a picture and... I will post it if she allows me i will post it so this is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope you learned something new from this channel today if you do don't forget to hit the like button and if you're yet to subscribe don't forget to hit the subscribing button and turn on your uh, notification bell so you will get notified when i will post another video okay so don't forget to turn on your post notification and please, 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 please help me share my video to your friends, your loved ones who is interested in sewing, okay? So basically, this is the finished look after ironing it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Have a beautiful afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you're watching this from. I will see you on my next video.